Dog shit. What's up, everybody? So, check it out. Scatterbrain Dad here. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about dog poop. Now, as a person who mows lawns, right? I, I mow people's yards. I trim bushes. We, we basically take care of properties, right? Property maintenance. Now, I just, I don't understand, right? Now, sure, I've got a few, you know, sometimes the girls let our dogs out and there's few good chunks of dog poop every now and then while I'm mowing the lawn. For the most part, I try to keep it cleaned up or have them clean it up. But our biggest issue, right? Whoa, whoa. Our biggest issue ever is basically... You want to enjoy that view for a second? Yeah. A little windy outside but yeah so check it out apartments and HOAs right homeowner associations now they are the worst so I started charging a dog poop fee now you might laugh I was I was seriously so sick of it at one point that I basically um one of my invoices a couple of years ago, I just put dog poop fee. I think I only charged like eight bucks, five bucks, right? So <clears throat> here's the thing it gets caught on our lawnmower wheels. Trimming the lawn, we, we step in it. If we're small mowing a property, it gets on our shoes. Then it gets in our truck, and we're driving around like. Did you step in dog shit? You know what I mean? Like, it's gross. So, I started charging a higher dog poop fee. Now, I still only charge, I guess it's not like way ridiculous, but it's about 10, 15 bucks. I don't, I don't think I've ever charged any more than like 15 bucks. But, that's, dude, I had a few properties today. They're getting charged 15 bucks. It's disgusting. Right? Now, if you live in an HOA and you take your dog outside to go to the bathroom, clean it up. It's real easy. All the HOAs that we take care of, guess what? There's a little pet poop station thing and they there's bags inside that you, you know, pick it up. Now, <clears throat> I don't know. If, if you're going to be living in an HOA or an apartment building where there's like a lot of people around, it's only polite to pick up your dog shit. Seriously, it's really easy. You're already walking the dog around and then it takes shit. Grab it with the little baggies and walk it over. And that's the good thing is where you get the bags from. It's like a hell some of them just have the bags um but some of them are actually like a poop can where you can put the poop in it and the bags so like it's basically a trash can now i don't see a lot of people using those and today i actually this no yesterday i was mowing a property and the guy walked over grabbed a bag and went and walked his dog I didn't see what happened after that, so maybe he didn't clean up the dog poop, but I'm guessing he did. Now, 
I see... Now, the only thing I can think of is these people are just letting their dogs out at night to go run around and shit everywhere. Because obviously, somebody's not cleaning up the poop. Now, if I see somebody while I'm mowing a lawn like that, and they are not cleaning up the poop, I'm going to say something to them. And basically, that's going to be... That's disgusting. Clean your shit up. Yeah. But... I probably won't. I'll probably just say that's disgusting. Like, anyways, but it gets all over our tires. It gets like the front tire. Okay, like it'll flip it. If I'm cruising along, it'll flip it and it'll like get stuck to the lawnmower. That's gross. Yeah. My lawnmower, like seriously, every single day when I get home from mowing lawns, you could probably go out and look at my lawnmower tires, and I've got dog shit all over them. It's gross. Yeah, seriously, and and it's it's just gross. So I want to know. Obviously, I don't know if you made it this far in the video. Great. If not, peace out. Later. I should have said that earlier. But um, if you made it this far, you and you and you're not charging a dog poop fee, and you mow lawns like me. Um. I would recommend that you start charging a dog poop fee. Now, here's the deal. A lot of my homeowners, all you gotta do is just text them and be like, hey man, there's a lot of dog poop, you know, I mean, if, if you can, you know, maybe clean it up before we show up, or, you know, if not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge you like 10 bucks, you know, dog poop fee, just because it gets on all, on our mowers and we gotta clean it and blah, 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 blah. So, that's simple, but, Apartment buildings where where I do through a management company, I've talked to them, I've asked them, they said, charge it. Now, they're going to start getting charged this dog poop fee, right? Well, the landlord, I used to be a landlord, I look at these charges and say, hey, w what is this charge here? And they're going to say, well, it's because of all the dog poop. Well, being a landlord and the management company, they're going to come back to the renter and they're gonna charge the renter, most likely. If they don't, and the landlord pays for it, great. You got a good landlord. But, chances are, you're probably, it's probably gonna go back to the renter. Um, at an HOA, it's kinda hard to do because there's so many people in an HOA. If you're in an apartment building, They'll take, you know, and say, hey, this is the pets. These people have a German short hair. These people have a pug. These people right here have one of those fancy doodle schmoodles things. That's right. So they're going to know what dog you have. But in an HOA, they don't necessarily, you don't have to disclose or you're not renting. You know, if, if you're renting in an HOA, maybe they will. But most HOAs, you know, they're homeowners. Uh, they're just, they don't care. Um... But, I don't know. It is what it is. But, I charge a dog poop fee. So, I think a lot more companies should start charging a dog poop fee. And if not, you should. Because it is. It's gross. I mean, seriously, comment down below. If you've made it this far, comment down below. And seriously, just be like, that's disgusting. Just comment. That's disgusting. Do it. Go down. That's disgusting. Capitals. All capital letters. That's disgusting. Right? Okay. So, that's an issue I had today. Sorry, I just, I feel like I had to film a video. It's been a while since I've put a video on here. Um, I've got a few other videos, sprinkler stuff, that I need to just edit and do. But, it's so windy. It's so windy out there. But let's do it. Like and subscribe. Go watch some of my other videos. I don't even know if this video worked out good with the footage. I'll just, I don't know, I was just filming right here with the computer. I don't even know how it looks. But I'm going to start filming a few more things like this, talking about issues as a lawn care provider for people, whether that be arguments I get in with customers. <laughs> Actually, I don't, I don't argue with my customers. Um, I, I used to now now I've got good customers who they like me 
They they really do. But back back in the day, I used to have some some people who weren't such good customers. I don't I don't have them anymore. So <laughs> there's a reason for that. But anyways, I'm gonna. There goes my neighbors. Woo. So anyways, I'm going to stop right there, and we're gonna go into another topic maybe tomorrow uh, or maybe I'll film something tonight again I don't know but it'll be posted at a later date so anyways check back in hit that subscribe button click on that little notification bell click all so that you'll see the next video I post right away as soon as I post it boom you'll be notified all right peace out have a good day and we'll leave you with this Thank you.